guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you're brand new and you're just finding me, hi, my name is Olivia and welcome. I would love it if you wanted to stick around a while, hit the red subscribe button down below, enjoy my channel. Or if you are a returning subscriber, hi, welcome back. It's always so nice to see you. And by the way, guys, you can always find me over on Instagram. I'm at Olivia Frida Curves over there. And that's always linked in the description box down below as well. Uh, thank you so much for joining me on today's video. I am very excited to show you some of the hauled items that I ordered from H&M. Really looking forward to sharing this haul with you guys. So thank you so much, first of all, for just clicking into the video and watching. Um, it means a lot to me, but I think you guys are going to love this haul. I was very um, interested to see what H&M had for like summer items. It's getting a lot warmer. I am in need of shorts, I am in need of kind of more summery pieces, and I was interested in them because of their prices. That's what I've always loved about H&M for years. I think they're a really great option for workwear, for basics, for just casual, everyday looks, and really unique pieces too. Like I just really like H&M overall, and I love their size range. That is something they do very well in terms of leading the charge, of being more inclusive on their, especially online, they have um, extended size Size is available and I love that but being in a curvy mid-size body summer is definitely one of those times where I'm excited for that warm weather but I'm a little bit nervous about wardrobe I get nervous to wear shorts I get nervous to show my legs to show my arms all of that kind of stuff and I'm trying really hard this year to challenge myself to get outside my comfort zone and I was curious with H&M could I do that with being in this, you know, size 12 body type? Can I go into H&M and find some really well-fitting shorts? We have a lot of successes in this haul. So I am actually personally very excited to share it with you. And if you are following me out over on Instagram, you already saw a few sneak peeks. So you know kind of what's coming up for every single item of whatever I can find. I will link it down in the description box down below. And I will also include my measurements. For each piece though, I will just let you know which size I picked out and how it's fitting. I'm really excited, you guys. It's a very good haul and some really great summary pieces to get kind of the wardrobe started. And I guess let's just get into it. Let's go for it. Um, thank you so much for watching and uh, let's get into this H&M haul. Okay, so the very first outfit is actually all about the shorts. This black top is my own. I actually own this one from Forever 21, but I saw a few different black basic tees and I thought, you know what, I'll just pair it with one of my own with these shorts because that was kind of the vision with these. Uh, these are a high-waisted pair of non-stretch shorts and I found these and uh, I got them in a size 12. Now, they on the rack, remember, there was a navy pair, a black pair, and there might have been maybe an olive green pair, but they're more like a dress short, like if that makes sense. There is absolutely no stretch in these, so I was curious to see if would they fit true size 12. And they really fit nicely. I am completely surprised. So number one shock when I was going and expecting the shorts were not going to necessarily go in my favor, these are, these work. The length of these shorts actually isn't bad, and I, again, I'm taller, so I was pretty surprised to see that they actually come down and they're not a short short on me. And then they do hit high waist, so I'm just showing you here. They're coming up for me kind of around the belly button or just slightly above if I pull them up, and they've got a cute little tortoise shell button detail on the front, which I really like. I think it just adds something different to the shorts. And then from the side, if you can tell, like there is a little bit of gapping but there's no, and there's no like tummy control or anything like that. Oh, and then, and then from the back, I was hoping that they weren't see-through, but I feel like you can kind of see, but I don't know, I'm wearing a nude underwear, so I'm hoping that you can't really tell. But they also don't come too short in the back, so they really are a good length from the front and from the back, which is great. So the one issue with these shorts is I'm finding, like I just had to run out into the living room quickly. I'm noticing that when I'm walking, they are riding up and I'm gonna be doing this a lot, which is one of the things that I don't love about shorts. So let's just see. Yeah, they're, they're definitely kind of riding a little bit in the middle uh, and then you're gonna get the chafing. 
which we don't love. But overall, am I pleasantly surprised with this pair of shorts? Yeah, because I thought for sure being a no, like having zero stretch, I thought they were going to fit tight, be ill-fitting, and totally surprised me in that way. So I do really like them. I don't know if these are the type of shorts that I would keep because I don't think I would get that much wear out of them. But overall, I am pretty um, happy with the fit. So first pair are a success. <laughs> Okay, so with this next one, I was very excited to try a t-shirt dress. So the thought behind this was that I would belt it like I always love to do, but you don't have to do that. You can definitely just kind of leave it as is. I think that they would be also really perfect, you know, one of those dresses that you just throw on and go, or a great cover-up by the pool if you want to just be covered from the sun. Any way you want to wear these, I think they're gorgeous. And I paired a belt with them. This belt is one that I already own and I did see a couple of different ones just like this. So I figured again, I'll just use what I have, but I love it. I think that it looks really kind of 80s a little bit. It's very oversized. I got mine in a size extra large because I knew I wanted some extra room in the waist to play with, just cinching it in and I think it's perfect. I think it looks really, really nice and so, I don't know, just very unique. Just from the back so you can see and it does come nice and long too, which I love because it's not too short and mini, which is great. And I love the sleeves. So these are those longer style, um, oversized t-shirt dress kind of sleeves. And I love that. What do we think? I actually think this is really cute and I would totally wear this and feel very comfortable and just kind of like relaxed and casual. And uh, yeah, I love it. Super cute. All right. Let's move on to the next item. Okay, we have a denim jumpsuit, everybody. I was pretty excited to find this one. I fell in love with one very similar months ago and never picked it up. And that was a true life lesson to me because I was checking online for it all the time. I've never to be found again. So this one I found is slightly different. I've wanted a denim jumpsuit for a very long time, but I'm not 100% sold on this one like I was the other one. I picked this one up in a size 12 and I think it fits great. Now the one thing I will let you know is there is no stretch to this. It just is what it is. You just kind of got to slip into it. Hope that it fits and I think it does. Really nice kind of form fitting too. It's buttons all the way up and then you can kind of control where you want those to land. Beautiful blue. It's a beautiful medium blue denim and it is very flattering. Now that I'm kind of like in it, I'm like maybe I love this. Just showing you with the legs just kind of how they fit. They're not like a skinny um, to the ankle kind of fit. They're more of a straight leg but I love them. Very cute, very cute. So I'm definitely loving this while I have it on, but I'm kind of on the fence. Like, I don't know if I would keep this one, but I do really like it. It's something I do not have in my wardrobe. Would I regret it if it was not in my wardrobe is the question. Let's get on to the next outfit. Okay, so let's talk about this outfit. I got this really beautiful like lilac colored shirt blouse. It's really, really nice and comfortable. Very relaxed fit, a little bit oversized. I got this in a size large and I absolutely love the color. I love the fit. This is a total win just because sometimes you want those types of um, like three quarter length blouses that are also really breathable that you can wear with shorts or with jeans really really nice and they do actually have well the shirt has a little tie as well which i've just tucked into these shorts but let's talk about the shorts okay so the shorts were in the sales section and i got them for ten dollars 
what a steal first of all they are a size 10 so I wasn't sure about picking them up because I was like you know what why am I gonna grab a pair of shorts that I'm gonna get home and they're not gonna fit me but I also figured for the price let's just go for it even though they have zero stretch these are like those dress pants you know the dress pants with like a double lining on the inside like a silky material but they are not stretchy at all these are them but in a short form so I like I do like the fit of them they feel really great quality for ten dollars it's insane they have a little belt at the top that you can tie but the, the shorts in general are just kind of like a structured regular dress pant short so getting these in a size 10 i am shocked that they do first of all they fit perfectly in the waist area where sometimes the 12 will be a little bit more roomy so i don't know if you can tell but the back like they just fit so nicely there's no gapping going on from the back they're not even that short which is really nice don't mind the overall fit of these i do however think I would be more comfortable in a 12. I just think that these have the potential to be kind of nice and flowy. Also surprisingly, they're not riding up, which is really surprising because of the length, but I think it's the material. Um, again, I am shocked with the shorts from H&M. They're pretty good find, or the price, very affordable. I'm loving it so far. All right, let's get into the next outfit. Okay, how adorable is this little neutral outfit? I am kind of loving it. Are we loving it? This one I picked out because I originally had seen the shorts and the shorts I had seen in a gray. And so I just picked them up because I was like, oh, those are really great just to have. And then I spotted them later in this like gorgeous tan color and I absolutely fell in love with it. So I picked them up and then I also saw this little um, smocked tube top and this one I thought might go with it. I'm not the same shade, but I feel as though they're in the family together and that's why I feel like this one works. I picked up the, the tube top in a size medium and it was $7 so crazy and expensive and then the shorts i picked up in a size large love a monochromatic look and i think if you're within the family like the shades are similar you're pulling it off i think it works i really like it and i love the tube top and all i've done is just tuck my my straps of my bra into the top and i just have that on in place of like a strapless bra and i think it works I don't think you can tell. I think that it sits really nicely, but also that kind of smocking material, oddly enough, is kind of supportive as well. So we love that. The shorts come up so nice and high-waisted. That's what they, they're meant to be, kind of a high-waisted sweat short, and they're really, really comfortable. Um, I've tied them in quite a bit because they were pretty loose at the waist um, for a size large, but I think everywhere else they fit really nicely. Love that from the side. And then just from the back, they're not even like that short or anything like that. So actually with this outfit, what's kind of interesting is I am kind of dealing with two of the things that worry me and stress me out the most, showing my arms and showing my legs in a pair of shorts. And I feel pretty comfortable, not all the way, but baby steps, we're getting there. I love the monochromatic look. And I think actually paired with some gold jewelry, like some gold necklaces, maybe even like a gold hoop. That's a whole vibe and I really like it. So yeah, super cute and comfortable. All right, let's get into the next outfit. Okay, we have a very 90s inspired look and I can't even tell you how much I love this outfit. I love the jeans, I love the sweater, the whole outfit is definitely a win for me. I picked up a pair of jeans because I was very, again, curious. How are the jeans going to fit from H&M? I have never gotten a pair, and so far, so good. Um, I also picked up this sweatshirt just to go with it, just because I felt like it kind of fit the whole vibe of this outfit. I also love sweatshirts that kind of have a little waist um, cinching detail and are slightly cropped. We love that. Um, so I'll tell you about the shirt first and then we'll get into the jeans. So let's get into the sweater. So this is a cropped 
um, sweatshirt material and I love that. I love that it cinches in right at the waist. It's a little bit oversized which led me to pick a smaller size than I normally would just because I knew that this one I wanted to fit like snug at the waist and if I picked up a larger size it wouldn't have. So this one is actually in a size small um, but I think it fits like a little bit more fitted as opposed to the probably oversized which it's meant to be. I love like the emblem detail, white, navy, I think it pops off really nicely against that gray. And then from the back it's just like that baggy material, very 90s, I just love this sweater. And I know personally I'm going to get a ton of use out of this. Let's get into the jeans. Okay, so I just pulled you down so that you can see the jeans. These are the ultra high waist mom jeans and I picked them up in a size 10. I know that they're meant to have like more of a loose look to them, but I didn't, I have a pair of lighter jeans like my American Eagle ones that are too big and they have a real relaxed look to them. So I just wanted these ones to be a little bit more form fitting and I just love them so much. So you can see from the waist, they definitely have like some room in this area, but they come up nice and high. So they, for me, they're coming just above the belly button. It's perfect. From the back, like there's like barely any gapping, which is great. Showing kind of like the bum area, which I think that they're very form-fitting, curve-hugging um, in the booty area, which is great. Super cute. I also love this detail, this like, um, the light brown patchwork that they have at the back. Very like 90s, love that so much. I'm really glad I took a chance on the jeans to try them. I would say, you know, in terms of their other jeans that are much more inexpensive, I don't know the quality of them or the fit, um, but I would be interested to try them again. So let me know if you're interested in me trying different H&M jeans, just to see the fit and the quality and how midsize kind of curvy figure works with them. So. Anyways, love this outfit so much. Let's move on to the next one. All right, we have a, a pair of denim shorts and we've got a crisp white shirt and I love that combo together so much. Super cute. I'm gonna talk about the shorts with the next outfit, so I'm just gonna focus on the top for this one, but how nice is this? Now, I did not have a shorter sleeve white shirt in my collection. I have a longer sleeve one, but I wanted to find one that was a shorter sleeve that I could wear on a hot summer day and just feel very comfortable in. Got it in a size extra large. I wanted kind of an oversized feel. I didn't want it to be too tight on me. I wanted it to be very, very breathable. It's got a very short little collar here, which is an adorable detail. And they leave you enough room at the bottom. Now it's wrinkled because I tucked it in, but they leave you enough room at the bottom that you can tie it together. Together, which for me it's not um, actually that looks pretty good I don't hate that okay I thought for sure I'm like no it'll be better this way but that's not bad I think that's cute too uh, I just I wanted this type of top and I'm really glad I found it, it was super inexpensive as well uh, and then also on the sleeves they're oversized so they're not kind of like I don't know making me feel like I'm breaking out of my sleeves. So I love that. And obviously I paired it with the pair of denim shorts. Again, I think it fits really nicely with the vintage vibe, but I'm gonna save the shorts to talk with the next outfit. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is actually the final outfit. And it is one of my favorites out of the whole haul because it's totally outside of my comfort zone. Um, and I fell in love with it. I really love this whole look and I'm so happy I found this little top. I found it in kind of like the youth section. This one is in a size uh, extra large and I hope it's picking up okay. I know that these lines can be tricky on camera, but this is in a navy. So white and navy stripes, it'll pick up. It says Santa Monica, USA, and I just love it. It's just so cute. 
Uh, love, of course, the, the piping as well on the neckline. Really, really nice detail. Oh, it's just so cute and comfortable. And then it ties up at the waist here, which I also really like. It is cropped, but it is slightly longer in the back. So, um, and then there's some room as well. Like it's not a very form fitting tee, which I really like. So love that, but let's get into the shorts because I love them. And I know you guys are probably dying to hear more about these shorts. Okay, so the shorts are the vintage high rise short. I got them in a size 12. I actually found them in the sales section and I don't know, I feel like online I found them, but these ones have a button fly detail. Um, and then the ones I found online are just the, the true zip. They are really high waist. So they're coming up for me above the belly button. Um, I think I mentioned size 12, hopefully I did. Um, and they are hugging really nicely. There is no stretch to these. To go true to size, I am usually a size 12, so I think that these fit pretty on par for me. And they are a little bit shorter than I'm used to. So when I walk, they're just, they're not riding up, which is amazing, I love that. And I mean, the only thing is, is they are a little bit short. They have a frayed raw hem kind of edge at the bottom, adds to the vintage vibe. And then from the back as well, they're actually not that short and they're not like hugging to kind of the bum area. There's a little extra kind of give there. So this outfit was definitely a success. That's the last item to wrap up this haul. So sorry about the lighting. I'm just kind of like at the end of the day. So hopefully it'll stay bright through the end here, but I just want to thank you very much. If you made it this far and you watched the whole video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, I am so curious which was your favorite outfit of this haul. I would love to know your comments down below, especially about the shorts and kind of like the different, like the jeans that I tried on, like things like that. I'm just so curious as to what you guys think. Um, so let me know. And if you haven't already, please do remember to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel um, and just support to me and then also of course uh, remember to subscribe and hit that red button down below as well if you are not already by the way you can always find me over on Instagram I post lots of different outfit ideas and what I'm eating throughout the day all that kind of good stuff I'm sure we're all getting into that summer frame of mind getting different outfits getting ready for the hotter weather and you know, I think we found some goodies in this haul and hopefully I gave you a little inspiration if you are searching uh, for things yourself and, uh, and you enjoyed the video. So thanks again and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.